When you think about Disney movies, you usually think about princesses, cute, quirky characters, and happily ever afters. However, we also know there's a very scary side to Disney movies as well, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Hey YouTube, I'm Cormac Lee, and welcome back to the most amazing top five. Before we get started, I wanna know who is your favorite Disney villain? Let me know your answers down in the comments. I think mine would be Maleficent, seeing as we know her backstory now and how she came to be evil. I really like how they're coming out with these movies about Disney villains and how they came to be. I think that's a really cool concept. And I think the next one about to come out is Cruella DeVille. But I mean, homegirl likes to skin Dalmatians, so yeah, she has some deep issues. All right, let's get started on the list of the top five scariest Disney moments. Starting off in number five spot, Fantasia. Fantasia is an extraordinary story, but it definitely has its odd, creepy elements as well. While the musical numbers and animation is on point, the movie ends on a strong note with the night on Bald Mountain scene. It was very eerie and actually somewhat disturbing. I mean, before this, we're seeing dancing mushrooms and brooms with arms and hippos in tutus. So getting introduced to Chernabog was really unsettling. He's this demonic looking creature who sits atop a gloomy mountain and terrorizes the civilians below by raising evil spirits from the dead, sending down ghosts, ghouls, and demons. Basically, he's supposed to represent Satan, which is pretty clear after seeing this. Number four, Beauty and the Beast. You all know at this point, Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney film, but even this movie has its dark moments. And maybe the darkest moment of all is when Gaston stabs Beast. I mean, you honestly don't see this coming since the whole reason Gaston is alive was because Beast spared his life after Gaston promised to leave the castle. Now that's a pretty classy move on Beast's part. I mean, this man brought a village of people to the castle to kill Beast and he was actually going to spare his life. So you think, okay, this scary scene is going to have a happy ending. But then Gaston goes and stabs him. And might I add, this was while he was distracted talking to the love of his life. So not only is this a messed up thing to do, it's extremely tacky and cowardly. But I mean, would we expect anything less from Gaston? I don't think so. But then Gaston fell to his death, so yeah, karma my friends, karma. <laughs> Three, the Black Cauldron. This movie definitely has some really dark and scary elements, but without a doubt, the worst of them was The Horned King. Yeah, this dude would give you nightmares. This movie isn't as popular as some of the others, and it came out in 1985, so not as many people are familiar with it. But if you want to watch a Disney movie with a scary edge, this is the one. I remember watching it as a kid, and yeah, it's terrifying. <laughs> Basically, throughout the movie, there's this evil horned king seeking to obtain a magical black cauldron so that he can enslave the entire world. And the animators of Disney didn't hold back when they came to making this character as scary as they could. He's a skeletal figure who has these glowing red eyes and a menacing voice. Due to the scary nature of this movie, this actually became Disney's first movie to require a PG certificate rather than a U. Now, while all those scenes with the king are scary, one that particularly stands out is one one where he raises his army of the undead. Turns out several scenes had to be cut from the sequence due to their graphic nature. It was deemed too disturbing for younger viewers. But here's some of the scene that made the cut. To Lion King. Yeah, you all know the scene I'm talking about. It brought tears to our eyes and still hurts our heart to think about it to this day. This terrifying edge of your seat moment. I'm talking about when Scar slowly lets go of Mufasa's paws, which causes him to get trampled by the stampede below. Like, we knew Scar was a villain and hated his brother, but to actually kill him in such a brutal way is just something you don't see coming. Especially since during this time, Mufasa is just trying to save Simba from the stampede, which Scar started in the first place. Mufasa Mufasa is down in the stampede, it looks like there's no hope. He keeps getting knocked down, but then Mufasa makes it through. He's climbing the mountain, you think he's going to live, and then this happens. Long live the king. Yeah. What the heck, Disney? That is not cool. And what's worse is Simba sees his father falling to his death. Yeah, terrifying and heart-wrenching. Not a fun combo. Disney just took family betrayal to a whole new level with this one. And in at number one, Toy Story 3. Now, I love Toy Story. So the fact that all these toys were almost killed in a blaze of fire in the most recent film, yeah, 
Not okay with that. You all know what I'm talking about. That's some messed up they're trying to pull. You don't play with people's emotions like that. This scene where the toys are in the trash compactor headed to their death is both scary and sad. They're trying to escape but then kind of just give up realizing there's no way out. And as they edge closer to the flames they all grab hands. If they're destined to go down then they're doing it together. It's a powerful moment but yeah, like I said, not cool. Seeing these characters we've grown to love over these years with a red glow cast upon them as they're about to be burned to death is terrifying. Now luckily, I saw this as an adult, but I remember seeing it in theaters and hearing kids crying and screaming due to how much this scared them. I mean, yeah, in the end everything worked out okay, but still, not cool. But that's a list of top five scariest Disney moments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like a part two, then let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to show some love by giving this video a big thumbs up, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.